What is going on guys and welcome back to the Griffin Outdoors channel. My name is Ty as always and today we're going to be doing our second of two scout so the last scouting trip for hogs at Watermelon Pond. So I say the second we're going to be there one more time after this before the actual hunt date starts before blah, not before we are out there to go hunting and uh, that's going to be to set up our blind. I'm going to set up like a natural blind but this is going to be our last scouting trip. Uh, to go look for a spot. We found that great spot in the last hog scouting video But we're gonna go to a little bit of a different area today See if we can find something that'll top that. I don't know if it will or not, but we'll go and see uh, But if you want to watch the first scouting video, I'll link that up here or whatever it is somewhere on this top in the Somewhere on the top of your screen. All right So without further ado, I'm gonna get in the truck and I will see you at the watermelon pond Nice Ladies and gentlemen, as you see we are here at Watermelon Pond once again. I'm going to flip you around. So as you can see, it's actually drizzling. I don't know if you can tell or not on camera, but it is drizzling a bit. And, you know, that's freaking awesome. Number one, if you watched the last scouting video, those dang leaves were so loud. It was insane. And, oh, as you see, we're walking all out there now. So the leaves were insanely loud. Hopefully that'll be nullified. Not nullified, but way less. Um... And the leaves will make way less noise because if they're wet now, it's all damp, so that's good. And the other thing is, uh, it will be cool and it will not be hot, so that is awesome. Anyway, as you see, flipped around, this is the same way we went out last time. We are trucking out the same way again, though the bad part is, see, I'm, I'm rocking the cowboy boots today, because why not, instead of my usual rubber ones. Um, hopefully these, I don't get all this, because usually... Um, it, all the, the only bad side is that all the sand is going to stick to my shoes and make a mess of my trek that I'll have to clean out later, but oh well. But I anyway, we're walking out here. It is, it's sort of like misting, like it's almost like a heavy, misty rain, you know? It looks just pretty nice, that's about the best kind of rain you can get. But anyway, so we're going to be trucking out basically the same way we were last time, but eventually, it's almost over by our last spot, we're going to cut and go, go to a different direction. So we're gonna be cruising along here, as you see. Um, you got the big, just like last time, got the big prairie stuff going on. Not prairie, like the big grasslandy field, the more prairie looking stuff starts up there. All right, but we are indeed cruisy cruising. All right, uh, bye. Ladies and gentlemen, the wind is, the windy and rainness is picking up a little bit now. It's now sort of like a, light to medium rain it's not really a mist anymore but um we're still cruising i don't really care honestly unless it gets really bad like it really starts coming down i'll get under one of these trees and wait it out as long as it's not thundering but um but for now we're still good even with the rain i really just do not care <laughs> at the moment so we're still we're still trucking it along all right nice taking that's where we went in last time we're gonna continue going for a little bit, but as you see in there, you got the, the final boss of noise making leaves, layers upon layers, <laughs> layers upon layers of oak, dead oak leaves, like the final boss of noisy walking. So, anyway, the rain's about the same as last time, no real update there, so we're just cruising along. All right, nice. All right, as you see, the main trail's right there. Oh, there's a hawk. I don't know if that actually picked up on camera, but a hawk flew past. Anyway, hoping that maybe if we get out of that off the mainland and you can see the rain is already less because being that we're under some trees for cover. But we're trucking this way now. This is, we're sort of using this like a, a cut through into onto the other side of this sort of little woodsy patch out to the other side. So, where there's more clearing. Yeah, we're just going to basically cut. You can see the, where it opens up right there again. Little corridor. If you watched the last video, I believe we actually were in here last time as well. Uh, we came out somewhere in here. We, come, we came out out of somewhere. I believe it was like over there or something. Oh yeah, it was over there. We walked from over there. And we literally walked right past this, this tree. <laughs> this little tree you can watch the video and see that if you want we're basically around the same area we're not going to end up in the same area we did last time though we're going to some place new all right but yeah see we're just breaking out into that new opening over there is where we're going to be trucking over to today 
All right, nice. Ladies and gentlemen, so you see we've got a huge sort of like little pond over there. That's just a low spot. And as you see here, all this water is running. You see there's more water. Ah, oh, sorry, it's hard to zoom in when the phone's a little wet, but you can see. Oh, come on, let me zoom out. Come on, come on. Oh, hold on, cut the camera. Uh, oh, there we go, never mind. Anyway, so if we walk back in here, you can see we've got a ton of rooting right in here. An absolute ton of it. And this would be, this is exactly what we're looking for. Look at all of this. It goes on forever. You can see it. You can see it all the way over there. You can see it here. You can see it all. This is exactly the type of stuff we're looking for. However, that is the main equestrian, one of the main equestrian trails. So we are not going to be doing this spot because that's just, no. We don't want to be hunting right on top of these people. But I do have a different spot coming around here that we'll go look at. And then there's one more, I think, somewhere over there. We're going to come look at this real quick. All right, but look at all this rooting. Just here's a good look at it. Oh, it's a lot of rooting right there. Dang. All right, we're cruising back through the tall, the tall weeds and we're back. All right, I'll see you when we get to the first location. If I can end the video. Come on. Come on. Come on. Right, as you look, I want to show you this. This is the other side. This is the same rooting. Look at how, this is a really good view of it. You see, like, all the way over here how much it is. And this is, like, this basically every public land, piece of public land I've been to. You know, in the, since I've been hunting public land, it's all overrun like this. It's pretty crazy. Like, I've seen it at, been to Gothies, like this at Devil's Hammock. Here, at, obviously. It's, um... I've seen it at a bunch of, even some state parks, like I was at Itchnatucky Spring State Park, I think for a hike a while ago, and I was seeing it, so, but yeah, so they're, they're everywhere, it's become a problem, a big problem, but there's nothing really you can do about it at this point, so, look, and you can see it all the way over there, dang, it goes on, it goes on all the way past back here, but anyway, so our spot's coming up soon, so I'll see you when I get there. Alright guys, we've got some wildlife, those birds over there? I think those are sandhill cranes. My phone isn't zooming in enough because I have it on battery saver. It's a little low, so it can't zoom in all the way. But I think those are sandhill cranes over there. Yeah, they are. Look at that. So that's pretty cool. First animal sighting of the day. All right, let's go. I'm sort of surprised we haven't seen pigs yet, honestly, uh, with how much stuff there is. I literally, I was at Gothi. I don't think that I actually made a video out of that one. I was at Gothi, and I literally just pulled into, like, the entrance, and a bunch of pigs almost hit my car running across the road. <laughs> but, yeah, they're just everywhere. So I'm surprised we haven't seen one yet with all the rooting. But anyway, I wouldn't be surprised if we do see one eventually. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, the trail's there. We're cutting across. This actually, the trail just loops around here. But we're going to cut across and go over in there. That sort of cut in the, that pocket in the trees. You can see this pig trail right here. See it right here? Is that some pig crap? There it is. That's actually pig crap, I think. I might be wrong on that, but there's crap. This is definitely the pig trails going straight to there, there where they're rooting it all up. Look at this. Oh, we got some right here. There's another one. Look at all of these. Look at how many ruts there are. Oh my gosh. Look at that. I think we're in a pretty good spot, to be honest. Look at this. We're looking closer. Look at this. Look how much. You see that? That is wild. That is incredible, dude. Like, I, this is insane. I mean, but that, I, I shouldn't be surprised at this point. Like I said, I've, this is everywhere you go, but the destruction these things cause is insane. Look, at it goes all the way in there. I think we're in a pretty good spot, though, to be honest. Sort of just truck it out through here. Hopefully don't get bit by a snake in these freaking tall grass. See, here's the other trail. You can see them running right through. Oh, and here we go. Look, there's stuff in my spot. We're still a little bit off the trail. So this spot, this is right here. This is actually really good. A little really good spot. Look at this. There's another hawk taken off. So this is sort of the spot I was envisioning, which just looks like is a pretty good one. <laughs> I mean, you can't get much more fresh than this. Oh my gosh. But anyway, so you see, this was sort of the spot. The trail is right there. But I was thinking if we can get all the way in the back here, 
that this is really out the way. And it's pretty far away. Look, yeah, this has got to be pig poop. Yeah, this is all so fresh. Especially, they got all this stuff right here, right? Hold well, on, I think I hear them. I don't think these things are too far away, to be honest. Happy I brought a knife. I don't know if that'll do anything, but I did bring one. Anyway. So if we're here, let's try and find a spot. Um, we don't want to set up on any of their trails, you know? But if we're here, I think, think cause like, look, at we're right on top of them. I feel like this is a much better spot than the last one, to be honest. So I think this might be our new number one. I think if we're here, right, maybe says I want to be sort of angled towards them, but that's really open. I don't want to be anywhere that might run me over from, from in the woods, you know? Sort of thinking, if we are, looks like there's a trail there. So that could be, can be a no-no. Looks like, because, but I bet they come out of there a lot too. Is there stuff running through here? It doesn't look like there's as much stuff running through here. So maybe, I think there looks like there's stuff coming out of there. There's so much stuff in here. Holy cow, I think this is this might be our best bet right here. If we can find something where, let's see, I think maybe here, right on the top. But it looks like there's all kinds of trails. But then I'll try and find a spot where I think we can set up good. All right, I just came over here. Look at this, we've got the shell of a very chunky gopher tortoise right there. That's a big one. Anyway, so I come over here because there's just so many trails running through there. You know, I want to see if there's like a something we can sit behind over here where I'm not going to be terrified. Something's going to run me over, you know, for coming up the trail. Because I feel like this may actually be our best bet right here. But maybe not. I'm going to see. Here's sort of the main thing. I sort of want to be back there a little more. Oh, here we go. This is what we're going to do. This is it right here. It looks like there might be something here, but I feel like there's nothing going to be running through this. The trail is like right over there, the horse trail. But I think if we're here, but this is a good spot right here. We've got all kinds of cover. I think this is where it's going to be. And this is definitely the front runner. Look at this. Oh my gosh. You can see all the way out there. You can see them coming from a mile away if they head this way. Or if you can see them eating out there, we might be able to put a spot and stalk on them. Because I, I do have a GoPro, or I have a GoPro clip coming I'll be able to attach. Alright, so this is going to be our spot. We'll put a blind, we'll make, and there's plenty of sticks here and stuff we can make a natural blind with like I wanted to. Like even if we just like take this, and just like, just, you know, throw these like here, you know, and put some leafier branches. That's definitely a possibility, a good possibility. So yeah, we're going to be here, sort of just sitting down here. And we've got these weeds in front of us for more cover. So yeah, I feel like this is going to be our best bet. So I'm going to mark this. And this is definitely, I don't even need to go see another spot. Like this is, you, you aren't going to get better than this. If we're sitting like this, and it's also angled sort of away. This is more of like a very specific case, but it's angled away from the equestrianers. If there's an equestrianer coming down the trail, I don't think they'll be able to see us either. So there won't be any issues of conflicting with that you know so that's good so if we're sitting here i got this view all right sorry for the cut so um i'm gonna the, you saw the view right here and what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna mark this on my map and i'm gonna trace a trail uh i'm gonna trace a trail to the um from here with hunt stands back to the truck so i have a path to walk in the morning uh, or in the morning, I, whether it's the morning or afternoon, well, the morning of the hunt, and uh, when I come out here uh, a few days before uh, to set up the natural blind, I'll know where to come and have an easy path. And I can also practice walking the path and stuff for sort of like a trial run for the morning of, of the hunt, the opening morning for me at least. But anyway, so I'm going to mark the spot, and then we'll get walking back to the truck. But this is, a, <laughs> this is about as successful as you can get for a hog scouting trip, I think. There's just stuff everywhere. All right, bye. All right, ladies and gentlemen, everything has been marked. 
and I'm gonna start going back to the truck. I'll see you when I get there. Ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, truck is up there. Um, so I can only I can only trace a little bit of it, a little bit of the path because hunt stands started to bug out. But I got a lot of I got well more than enough of it traced before it started to bug out that I can find it on Monday for sure, with relative ease. Um, I'll just probably trace a new one back, because I think it, Hunt Stand had to update, and I think that's sort of what caused it. But, um, what should call it? As you can see, I'll try and get down. It's all been sugar sand the whole way back, and look at my shoes. These are gonna have to be, these are gonna have to be like pressure washed or something, probably not, but like power washed. Uh, these are definitely going to be riding in the back, in the trunk, or not in the trunk, in the bed of the truck on the way home. Because this, I don't even think uh, knocking these off for any amount of time is going to save these. Uh, whereas I can drive in them and not completely ruin the interior of the truck. So, anyway, we're coming back out. Flip you around, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, it's the rain starting to pick up, so I'm gonna make this fast. Thank you guys so, 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 so much for watching. Sorry, I will see you in the next edition of Griffin Outdoors. Um, so yeah, that's the end of the video. Peace.